Hey there, Nina. We are hanging out at the convention center. As you mentioned, Festival of Trees happening here right now. It is happening today. More importantly, if you're watching right now at home, it is happening again tomorrow. I'll get to the details in just a moment, but I want to quickly introduce the Park Rose High School debonairs. Yes, they are the elite of the elite when it comes to Park Rose's high school choir. They were performing here earlier today, and they will perform for us again here in just a minute. Uh, but again, Providence Festival of Trees, 32nd year, all day here tomorrow, 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Some of the annual favorites are back again, Santa's Workshop, Mrs. Claus's Kitchen, where kids can help decorate cookies with Mrs. Claus. You can take pictures with Santa Claus. They've got the Teddy Bear Hospital. They've got new this year, a local Lego user group has put together this terrific model train display. So a lot of visuals to go along with the 100 beautifully decorated trees that they have here. And I say that, Kelly Beekler, Executive Director of the Providence Portland Medical Foundation, with one of those beautifully decorated trees sitting behind you today. But I want to bring up the fact that a lot of people forget, or maybe they didn't realize, that this event serves as a fundraiser. It supports Providence programs and services. Explain how this works as a fundraiser exactly. Well, the whole concept of this is, is it is a chance for the community to celebrate Christmas and give some philanthropic gifts to uh, a worthy organization. And this year it's our Brain and Spine Institute. And we're supporting a program called Neuromodulation, Deep Brain Stimulation. It shows a lot of benefit, particularly in uh, treatment of Parkinson's disease, but a lot of other, a lot of other positive, positive uh, um, things that it's helping right now. Um, last year we did uh, PlaySmart, okay? It's helping the kids with uh, uh, take a look and figure out why why some kids are having heart problems and that's been a huge success for this entire community next year we'll do uh, the children's services so it rotates cancer research a couple years from now and so all of these items are auctioned off or raffled off or we uh, we sell lots of sponsorships and things like that and it's all for a good cause and it uh, benefits Providence the event that gives back, I always say it's the event that really does get you into the Christmas spirit. We're still a couple of weeks away, but I'm bearing the hat here yes. this afternoon. We've got the young students, not that young, I'm sorry, more like young men and women. Would that be more appropriately put there, gang? They are again the Park Rose High School debonairs. They're going to perform for us right now to help us get into this holiday spirit. Sing when ready, young men and women. Musical entertainment, I should point out, clap, 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 is also a part of the annual Festival of Trees. All that entertainment, all those things I mentioned earlier happen again tomorrow, Nina, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. right here at Oregon Convention Center. High five, collectively, gang. You were awesome. Nina, back to you. Drew, thank you so much. They sound wonderful getting into the Christmas spirit.